I want to redefine what it is to be an athlete in our generation. Reinvent them as thinkers, businessmen, and CEOs of their own brand and their own company. Have you ever wanted to own a stake in your favorite athlete? A California company called Fantex is offering investors just that chance. This week, the company announced that it inked a deal with a second professional football league player, Vernon Davis, a tight end for the National Football League, to do an IPO and a 10% stake in his future earnings. For his part, once the IPO is completed, Mr. Davis will get $4 million from Fantex, which will then run an auction for the shares. Um, with me now to discuss this development is Sujit Indep of the Lex Column. Sujit, thanks for joining me. So, why would an athlete do this? Uh, sure, well, it's a very interesting proposition. Uh, if you're Vernon Dana Davis or Arian Foster, it's the chance to capture the present value of your future earnings. That's obviously a risky stream, so why not de-risk that by getting some money up front in exchange for giving investors some of that upside down the road. Growing up, I knew I wanted to be an NFL player. But there's a bit of controversy behind this new approach. Sure, so there's a few things uh, to think about. One, obviously there's the ethical concern about one uh, human being investing in another. Um, but if you put those aside from a purely uh, investing perspective, uh, it's risky uh, for a few other reasons. Uh, first, this is a whole new investing regime. There's a new exchange that Fantex has to set up. It's not like you're buying Twitter shares on uh, the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, Fantex will also have their own brokerage. And then there's the whole question of how investors will actually realize uh, an athlete's earnings down the road. Fantex and its backers have total control of how dividends are paid out. And so uh, you really have to feel good of that Fantex is creating a system where you actually will realize um, the earnings of an athlete. We have seen this in, in other forms. Uh, young golfers, for example, who have expensive uh, costs as far as uh, training and traveling will sell shares in their future earnings. We've seen this in entertainment with Bowie Bonds, which is obviously a fixed income instrument that was uh, backed by uh, the royalties from his catalog. Uh, and so where this could go uh, is very interesting. I think for all athletes who, uh, who are starting out and whose earnings are, are unclear, this, is, uh, this could be a way for them to raise funds to fund their development, and obviously the backers uh, of tracking stop IPOs could, uh, could share in the upside if they hit it big. So, so far we've seen this with established NFL stars. The real, the real uh, opportunity could be in up-and-coming athletes that we haven't heard of yet. My name's Arian Foster, and I'm just getting started. 